Hello, hello, I am Cheryl here at the Made on Sunday studio and I talk all about branding, design and creative entrepreneurship on this channel. So if you are building your own online business right now, then be sure to subscribe to follow along. Now in today's video, we are continuing on on our Flowdesk email marketing series. Last week, I taught you how to set up your Flowdesk account, how to set up your branding on your Flowdesk account and also create your branded templates on Flowdesk. So this week, we are finally gonna be starting to collect those emails from your audience. By the way, if you haven't signed up for Flowdesk yet, be sure to go to the links in the description below. When you click on it, you're gonna get your first month of Flowdesk for free and then your first year of Flowdesk for 50% off. Yes, do not pay full price for it. You can get 50% off right away by clicking on the link in the description below. Now, previously we have gone over how to create a landing page on Flowdesk to start collecting those emails. So today we are going to be exploring how to actually create a Flowdesk embedded pop-up to show up on your Show It website. So if you're ready, let's head on to my laptop and let's get that pop-up created. All right, welcome to my laptop. We are logged into my Flowdesk account now and today we're gonna be creating a pop-up opt-in page to embed into your uh, Show It website. So first things first, you are probably delivering some sort of freebie or something like that. So uh, in order to do that, we need to create your audience first. So you're gonna head into your audience and we're gonna create a segment um, which basically tells um, Flowdesk that this specific segment of people um, I'm going to give them a name, a tag, and then I can then do things with this specific segment of people. So I'm just going to call this like freebie example. You can call it whatever your freebie is. For example, if you're giving out like, uh, three tips for creating a beautiful website, you can call that right here. Um, and then we can assign it a beautiful color and we're going to click on save. So there it is, we have your freebie example here. All right, so once you have your audience created, we're gonna go and create that opt-in. So we're gonna click on form in the top right here, and we're gonna click on a new form. Now, click on a new form. All right, so in a previous um, part of the series, we've already created a full page landing page. So we talked about all the different types of landing pages you might wanna create. And one of the reasons why you wanna create a, a landing page is to deliver some sort of freebie to grow your email list. Now, if you wanna watch that tutorial, I'm gonna include it in the description below so you can watch that one instead. But for today's video, we are gonna be creating a pop-up. So let's look at all of the different template choices and we are always gonna start with a template. I think I'm gonna go with um, this one right here. I love that there's a little space for a photo. And once you click on customize, you're gonna be able to click on the segment that you just created and we're gonna click on save. All right, so um, now we are going to uh, customize this. So make sure that you've already set up all of your branding and your colors and your fonts and everything. So it makes this process that much easier. So make sure um, one of the first videos that are part of this uh, Flowdesk series is how to set up your account and um, do all of the branding for your Flowdesk account. So watch that video first. But if you have that all done here, we are going to change this to our brand fonts. I'm gonna change this to this one right here. Get your three guide to three ways to improve your website conversions. All right, we're probably gonna add some sort of image of, um, you know, your freebie. I'm just gonna use this one right here. It is just an example, just whatever I got here. Um, this is actually one of the freebies that I created recently, so this works out. You can actually change the shape of it if you like, but for me, um, just the regular square works. And then in this section here is where you can adjust what kind of information you are gathering from people who sign up for this um, opt-in. So 
This depends on your country that you're in. So for Europe, you're only allowed to collect first name and email address. Uh, you cannot collect last name unless you have a reason why you need the last name. It's basically the rule is like, get ask for as little information as you need from them. Um, so it really just depends on um, what your country is but I'm going to add first name here and I'm gonna change that to the first section here. So I'm gonna add first name, um, I'm gonna say required and then email address uh, that is definitely required obviously. And then we are going to style these. Um, I'm gonna use a little bubble and then I'm gonna fill the color with maybe this one there my brand fonts and just adjust this really quickly. Um, all right, that looks good. And I wanna change this to a lighter color so that there is a good contrast here. And then I'm going to obviously adjust this one as well. Okay, one thing I also wanted to note here is if you just click on you know the background right here, you can also add preferences. And this is actually very important if you are in Europe in order to uh, abide by the European uh, newsletter email guidelines, you need to make sure that uh, people are uh, like proactively opting in to exactly what kind of content they want. So for example, if you are um, offering a freebie, they have to be able to say, yes, I'm gonna check this and I'm gonna opt into the freebie. And then the second one might say, yes, I'm also gonna opt into your regular email newsletter. So if the, the communication on your website just says like, get your freebie, then that's all you should really send them. You shouldn't really send them like your regular email newsletter or any other emails. Um, in the US, I believe it is not as strict. So just make sure that you are reading uh, the email laws of your own country. Um, so in preferences, you can also add like, let's say this first one would be like, yes, get your guide. And then you can choose uh, the segment that you're um, adding here. I'm just gonna delete that last one. And then let's say the second one is like, yes, um, sign me up, sign me up for weekly newsletters. And then this would be like, let's say your regular general weekly newsletter uh, people. So this will sign them up into exactly whichever segment um, they have asked to sign up for. And then after that, it is all good. And we are then going to go to Nix and we are going to say yes to double opt-in. Again, I always recommend doing double opt-in um, and make sure that you have that double opt-in message template created. Um, I did show you how to do that in the first video. So if you haven't checked that out yet, check out the branding tutorial for Flowdesk. Um, and then we're gonna go to continue. And then this will basically say, how long do, are they gonna be on your website before this pop-up um, shows up? So we are going to do 10 seconds after. We're gonna go to continue. And then we are going to say, let's see, should we show this to returning customers? I would say no. When subscribers opt into this form, uh, I like to be notified and then display success message, perfect. So now you're gonna get this code and we are going to copy this and just make sure that it is copied onto your computer. And then we're gonna head into show it. So now we're gonna embed this into whichever page. So right now this is my homepage of my website and let's say we want to embed it into this home page. So you are going to actually make sure that you're not clicked into one of these um, canvases here. You need to be clicked into just the regular page and you're gonna see the advanced settings come up here and I already have some other code on my website, but for you, you can also add the code at the very end or just wherever into the header tag here. So now I've added this code that I've copied from Flowdesk into this header tag. I'm gonna click on save and just make sure that it is saved before we preview it to make sure that it is all working. All right, so 
Now we're gonna click on preview and just see if this will pop up in about 10 seconds. So let's scroll through the website um, and hopefully in about a few seconds later, our pop-up shows up. So this looks gorgeous. It like looks so seamless with show it. So it looks beautiful. They can go through here. They'll put their name and their address, make sure they opt in. And then when they click on this, they are going to receive that email from Flowdesk for your double opt-in. If you decided to do double opt-in and once they subscribe, they will be added into that specific segment that they sign up for. So either to get the guide or to sign up for your weekly newsletters. And one quick thing that I do want to note is that any changes moving forward on the Flowdesk side will be reflected onto whatever you've embedded already and to show it. So you do not need to re-embed it every time you make a change on the Flowdesk side. So um, in the next steps, when we are creating your workflow, um, that will be automatically updated onto your same embed code onto show it. So at this point, you can do whatever you want on the Flowdesk side, make changes or updates to the look of it. You can add different workflows and and then when you are ready to make it go live, all you have to do is just publish it on your show it website and you're good to go. All right. And that is how you create a Flowdesk pop-up form embedded right into your show it website. I hope that was helpful. And if it was, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel to follow along with the rest of the series. Now, if you have any questions, by the way, about Flowdesk email marketing or Flowdesk with show it, be sure to uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll either answer your questions in the comments if it's a really quick one or I'd be happy to answer it in the next video. Now, so far we've learned how to set up your Flowdesk account. We know how to create a landing page with Flowdesk. We know how to create a pop-up to embed into your show website. Next up is actually the third way to collect emails with Flowdesk and it is creating an inline embed into your show website. So instead of having a pop-up or a separate page that comes up, you're actually going to embed the actual Flowdesk form right into your show website. So be sure to subscribe to follow along so we can get notified when that video comes up. All right, I'll see you guys there. Bye.